Hey everyone, Casper from TC Heligon today, here to show you how to get started using Submix, which we just added in our latest GoXLR update. But before diving into the app, let's just take a second to break down Submixing and get used to it. So what it is, is it's a new feature that allows for you to have two mixes instead of the one you traditionally have. And you can use this to separate your stream audio and your headphone audio, for instance. So let's say you want just a bit more audio on your video game for you than for your stream. Well, that's not possible. Or maybe you want to play some calming music in your ears while your stream can't hear it. Well, that's doable too. So let's dive into the app and take a look. So now that we're getting in the app, after having made sure that you're up to date on the firmware and the app itself, then go into the mixer tab. Here, you're going to be seeing a small option to tick on submixes, which is going to turn on the feature for you. And now that we have it turned on, you can see at the input section, there's a second fader attached to every input as well as a linking button at the bottom of each. And to the left of the inputs, you'll see a new section called mix assignment. This is where you choose what mixes your input gets sent to, as well as allow you to monitor your mixes by clicking on these headphones to the left. So if I want to monitor my stream mix, I just click here. And that should allow it to me until I go back on my headphone, which is the default. A quick thing you might notice is under the output section, your mic monitor is now gone. And now you would just adjust that on your mic slider, which is linked to your headphones via the blue. So for instance, I would just slide up and down here and that would now be my new monitor. In order to get started with setting up the audio levels for your stream, there are a plethora of ways. But what I like to do is I like to do it all for my headphones and then I like to fix the broadcast stream afterwards. So by doing this, I would first make sure that my headphones are on A, which they coincidentally are. But I would also need to make sure that my stream mix is on B because I, that's where I want my stream mix to be. And now I'm just going to proceed to set up my audio as I normally would for all of the blue sliders, which is what I'm going to hear. Unfortunately, I've done all that, which means that you won't have to sit here and wait. But this is where it might be more important. And this is where most of the people are going to feel the difference is in the stream mix. Now that we have those two separated, I probably want to go and change a few things that I want my stream to hear that I don't or vice versa. And the first thing I do is I make sure that my stream mix is on B and not A. And then if I do want to hear things as I go along, all I have to do again is I have to click on this headphone and I will know what my stream hears perfectly. And it even grays out the tabs that you don't have routed into your stream mix. So that's super neat. But let's say I maybe want my gameplay to be a bit quieter on stream than I do in my headphones. Well, then I just go to the game slider and I make sure that they are not linked. And then I put the orange slider down to, let's say, 70%. And now, if I was playing a game right here on stream, it would be significantly lower for you, but it wouldn't be for me. You could do the same with music, as in you could probably just turn it down to zero if that's what you wanted, if you wanted to listen to some music, but your stream wouldn't. Alternatively, you could also just go into routing and just disable music, and then you'd come back to the mixer and it's grayed out. Now, we did mention the linking button earlier before, and what its purpose is, is to give you back some of that dual control with your faders on the GoXLR. So let's say, for instance, the music slider here that I do want it to be the same volume for me and the crowd always. Well, all then I have to do is to link it. And then now if I move one of the sliders or if I move it on my GoXLR, they move together. So that's super nice and gives you back some of that control that maybe you're used to when it comes to controlling stream audio on the hardware itself. In reality, you can be extremely creative with this thing. And when it comes to getting the most out of the submix, the sky is really the limit. The cool thing is that you can do this exactly how you want, and it's not like there's a perfect way of doing it. And all you have to do once you've gotten this set up is you want to make sure that once you're in OBS or whatever streaming software you use, that you put your audio output to be your broadcast stream mix. And then this will be all your stream hears. It's super easy to get going, even though it takes a little bit of explaining to do at first. But once you're done, it's all set up and easy to go. 
And that sends us off to the races when it comes to setting this up for your stream. Doing it for a two PC setup isn't that much different. You would just use the line output in your mix assignment and then you would be good to go. And that's it for this simple walkthrough. We hope you enjoy the feature. If you have any questions or tutorials that we should make in mind, then please fire them in the comments below and we'll be happy to make a response. Thank you so much for watching and good luck. Have fun.